In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your diffuse and use that as a specular map. Let's open up Content Browser and jump straight into the Material Editor. The best way to have a spec map is to create your own so that way you can be mindful of where the highlights are and where they are not. In this spec map, the whites of the specular map are the highlights, is where the light is going to be reflected. And the dark blacks is where the highlights are not going to show. So let's say we didn't have our spec map, so I'm going to disconnect it. And all we had was the diffuse. We can use a diffuse and convert that to a spec map using a variety of expressions to get a similar effect. So let's go ahead and select our diffuse. I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy. And paste. So let's move our diffuse up, give ourselves some space, and I'm going to move this spec all the way down that we can't see it. So let's go ahead, take our default diffuse and just plug it into the specular of the material. And I'm going to disconnect the diffuse. So all we see is a spec map. So right now we have a specular on our material using just a regular diffuse. But this texture is not taken into account of where the highlights are going to be, where the darks, where there is no highlight is going to be. So it's just doing its best on guesstimating. So we need to add a few nodes to this texture to make it work better. First, let's desaturate our texture and make it black and white. So we need desaturation node. Let's drag it into the working area. And we need a constant one node, which will control how much desaturation we get. So hold down one and left click for a constant vector. So let's move our spec map up to the side here. Desaturation in front. And let's plug in our constant one to percent. And let's take our texture sample, our speckle map, plug it into desaturation, and desaturation into the speckle of the material. So let's change our constant one vector to one. This will make it 100% black and white. So now we have a spec map that's black and white, but we don't have the range, the contrast of whites and darks to make our spec map work. So in order for us to get a higher contrast and higher values of from black to white, we need to increase its contrast. So to increase contrast, we need a power node. Now let's drag it into the working area. And we need a constant one, which will control how much contrast we give our speckle map. So I'm going to put power right in here. I'm going to move our spec map back and constant one vector will go right here. Let's plug in our constant into the exponent. This will control our contrast. And I'm gonna change our constant one vector to one. This will be the default what we see now. Take the power, plug it into desaturation, and take our spec map and plug it into base. So let me move these closer so we can see what's going on. So now we have contrast controls and we have desaturation in front of it. So let's go ahead and increase contrast. And we'll be able to see the results inside this desaturation node. So let's increase contrast to 3. It increased our contrast, but it also darkened our texture. So now we need to brighten our spec map. And for that, we need a multiply and a constant vector node. So I'm going to take our contrast controls and move them back. And I'm going to insert multiply and one in between desaturation and contrast. So I'm going to hold down one and left click for a constant vector. This will be our brightness control. And M and left click for multiply. I'm going to change our constant vector to one, giving us the default of what we see right now. Take power, plug it into multiply A slot, take a constant vector into the B slot, and plug multiply into desaturation. So now let's go ahead and increase and brighten our texture. So select the constant vector that's plugged into multiply, give it a value of 5. And now our spec map looks a lot better, very close to the original. So with these controls, we can give it more contrast, so let's say 5. And we can brighten this up to about 10, maybe more, let's do 25. So a quick rundown, we have contrast controls for our spec map then we are brightening in that contrast, and then we are desaturating it, turning it into a black and white texture. So our final thing, let's plug in our diffuse. Let's take a look at the preview. Hold the L key and move the light. Let's save the material and see what it looks like inside the map. 
this is a good start and I would tweak values a little bit more to make the diffuse work better as a spec map. But now you have the tools and the know-how to turn a diffuse to a spec map.